In part two of electrical system, we'll discuss DC power system, standby power system, miscellaneous buses, and electrical panels. The DC power system is designed for fully automatic operation. Each of the four AC buses powers a transformer rectifier which supplies DC power to its respective DC bus. Each DC bus is connected to the DC tie bus through a DC isolation relay. With the bus tie switches in auto, the DC isolation relays are closed, connecting the respective DC bus to the DC tie bus. In addition to opening the bus tie breaker, Pushing the bus tie switch off opens the respective DC isolation relay. The DC bus is isolated from the DC tie bus, but remains powered by its respective AC bus and transformer rectifier. Automatic isolation of an AC bus by the bus tie breaker does not open the DC isolation relay. Illumination of the AC bus isolation light only indicates the AC bus tiebreaker is open. There is no flight deck indication of the status of a DC isolation relay. Now let's discuss DC buses that can be powered by the airplane batteries. We'll discuss main battery buses first. Under certain conditions, the main battery can power the main hot battery bus and the main battery bus. The main hot battery bus is directly connected to the main battery and provides DC power to selected safety related equipment such as fire protection components. The main hot battery bus is normally powered from AC bus 1 through the ground service bus and the main battery charger. The ground service bus and main battery charger will be discussed later. Normally, DC bus 3 powers the main battery bus. When DC bus 3 is unpowered, the main hot battery bus powers the main battery bus when the battery switch is on. Two buses can be powered from the APU battery. These are the APU hot battery bus and the APU battery bus. The APU hot battery bus is directly connected to the APU battery and powers the APU controls. The APU hot battery bus is normally powered by AC bus 1 through the ground service bus and APU battery charger. The APU battery charger will be discussed later. Normally, DC bus 3 powers the APU battery bus. When DC bus 3 is unpowered with the battery switch on, the APU hot battery bus powers the APU battery bus. Question. Answer C is correct. Question. Answer B is correct. Now let's discuss DC power system non-normal operations. The ICAS advisory message, battery off, is displayed when the battery switch is off and AC bus 3 is powered. 
The off light in the battery switch also illuminates. The ICAS advisory message, Battery Discharge Main, is displayed if the main battery is discharging. The ICAS advisory message, Battery Discharge APU, is displayed if the APU battery is discharging. Main and APU battery voltage, current in amps, and charge discharge information is shown on the status display. Let's continue with a discussion of the standby power system. The AC standby power system provides electrical power to critical flight deck equipment. AC standby power is provided by two buses, the main standby bus and the APU standby bus. We'll discuss the main standby bus first. The APU standby bus will be discussed later in this module. A three position standby power selector is located in the upper left corner of the electrical system panel. With the standby power selector off, both standby buses are unpowered. Rotating the standby power selector to auto allows the standby buses to be powered. Auto is the normal selector position for flight. The main standby bus is normally powered by AC bus 3. Main standby power can be verified by observing that the upper CRT is powered. If AC bus 3 is unpowered, the main standby bus is automatically powered by the main standby inverter, which is powered by the main battery charger through the main hot battery bus. APU standby power can be verified by observing that the left PFD and ND are powered. The main battery powers the main standby bus through the main standby inverter if all other normal sources are unpowered. With battery power only, standby power is available for at least 30 minutes. Question. Answer A is correct. Let's now discuss the battery position of the standby power selector. Rotating the standby power selector to battery with the battery switch on disables the main battery charger and allows the standby bus to be powered from the main battery. The battery position is used for ground operations only. The ICAS advisory message, Standby Bus Main, is displayed if the main standby bus is unpowered. Question. Answer B is correct. With no AC power sources connected and the standby power selector in auto and battery switch on, standby power is provided from the main battery. Now we'll discuss the miscellaneous buses, which include the captain's and first officer's transfer buses, ground handling bus, ground service bus, and the main deck cargo handling bus. 
Many of the captain's and first officer's essential flight instruments and selected navigation equipment receive AC power from their respective transfer buses. The first officer's transfer bus is normally powered by AC bus 2, and the captain's transfer bus is normally powered by AC bus 3. If AC bus 2 is unpowered, the first officer's transfer bus is automatically transferred to AC bus 1 for backup power. The captain's transfer bus powers the APU standby bus, which powers the left PFD, the left ND, and the left FMC. If AC bus 3 is unpowered, the captain's transfer bus is automatically transferred to AC bus 1 for backup power. If AC buses 3 and 1 are unpowered, the captain's transfer bus is unpowered. With the standby power selector in auto, the APU standby bus automatically receives power from the APU battery through the APU hot battery bus and the APU standby inverter. The ICAS advisory message, standby bus APU, is displayed when the APU standby bus is unpowered. Question. Answer C is correct. Now let's discuss the ground handling bus. The ground handling bus is only powered when the airplane is on the ground. The ground handling bus provides power for lower cargo handling equipment, lower cargo doors, auxiliary hydraulic pump 4, lower cargo compartment lights, and fueling equipment. The ground handling bus is powered automatically when external power 1 is available. If external power 1 is not available, the ground handling bus is powered automatically by APU generator 1 if it is available. Now let's discuss the ground service bus. The ground service bus powers both battery chargers, cabin and service lighting, main tank 2 aft fuel pump, navigation lights, and service outlets. The ground service bus is normally powered by AC bus 1. If AC bus 1 is unpowered, the ground service bus can be powered from the same source powering the ground handling bus by pushing the ground service switch at the 1L door. Question. Answer C is correct. Answer C is correct. The main deck cargo handling bus is powered on the ground only and provides electrical power for cargo handling equipment on the main deck. The main deck cargo handling bus is powered automatically whenever either external power to or APU Generator 2 is available. If both power sources are available, External Power 2 powers the bus. 
external power 2 or APU generator 2 cannot power main airplane electrical buses and the main deck cargo handling bus at the same time. Selecting the power source on will de-energize the bus. If both external power 2 and APU generator 2 are available, selecting external power 2 on will transfer main deck cargo handling power to APU generator 2. Question. Answer C is correct. The main deck cargo handling bus is powered automatically when either external power 2 or APU generator 2 is available. Selecting a power source on will de-energize the bus. Let's now discuss the circuit breaker panels and the electrical maintenance panel. There are two P7 circuit breaker panels labeled P7-1 and P7-2 located aft of the overhead panel. All P7 circuit breakers should be in for normal flight operations. There are four P6 circuit breaker panels located on the aft right sidewall behind the first officer's seat. All P6 circuit breakers should be in for normal operations. An electrical maintenance panel located on the overhead maintenance panel is provided for maintenance use only. For normal in-flight operations, all switch guards should be down and all indicator lights off. For normal on-ground operations, with either external power or an APU generator powering each side of the synchronous bus, the split system breaker light is illuminated. 